Now right here we are about 17 yards from the hole. And what we're doing is we're chipping about half in the air and half is rolling to the hole. This is about being precise, has nothing to do with power. If you need power to reach the hole with the chipping club, you have the wrong club in your hands. So we take a, small, a smooth backstroke, we accelerate, but we do not generate power. It's all about being precise. So when you will receive the chipping club, I would suggest you to get yourself a nice lie, set yourself five, 10 feet away from the green and just practice. So you could get the feel of the motion of chipping with your hand, like you're tossing a ball. This here is all about being precise, nothing to do with power. All right, here is the GP putter using the face on putting technique, also called side saddle putting. As you could notice at that dress, the putter shaft is straight down, our forearm, hands or putter is not anchored to our body. We have a lot more video on the website that shows you in detail in it how everything works. But basically, the GP putter conforms with the USG rule and this putting stroke is 100% legal for tournaments. Look how simple it is. The putter head goes straight back, straight forward. We never, never, never open and close the putter head during a putting stroke. So the ball will go on that line. All right, I will just show you how I'm setting up and how I'm doing it and how to practice. I'm not gonna show you the results. If you're able to take the ball in your hand and with your body movement and toss it and it gets to the hole, then the face on chipping golf club will work. If you cannot reach the hole by tossing the ball with your hand and you're forcing to get there, face on chipping golf club will not work. So it's simple. If you're able to toss it with precise with your hand, we're able to do it with the face on chipping golf club. I put my left foot in the front, right foot in the back, and we're rocking. We're using our body movement. Left hand, I put my thumb at the end of the grip. My right hand goes on the shaft. You could keep both hands together without rocking everything. You could keep this left hand in the same spot. But basically, it's, it's to be precise. No power on this, nice and easy. So if I use my two hands in tandem without breaking any wrists, anything, you will see the results, same thing. It works the same way. But when you will receive the face on chipping golf club, the best thing to do is to find yourself a nice line and chip it five, six feet. Use six ball and you try to land it on that precise area, five, six feet in front of you, and it's gonna roll on the green. And from there, you will be able to, to get the, the feeling and the motion of how to chip with the club. It's all about being precise. So a little bit of practice, nice and smooth. No power is required. It's like tossing the ball with your hand. We're doing the exact same thing. All right, when you want to chip over the bunker, again, same thing. We use a lot of body movement and no force. And it's gonna pop up, we'll get it on the green. So again, nice and smooth. No power in this shot. It's like tossing the ball with your hand. If you're able to toss it to the hole with your hand, it's going to work nice and smooth. That's it. All right, face on chipping works in a bunker. You cannot pick up some sand, it has to pick up clean, and then it's going to go up, and you will get it on the green but not, no force again, it's nice and smooth. 